this is really good even without all of that. You could just eat it in the bowl. With in the fact, you could just <laughs> eat it out of the bowl. No judgment here. We're in at your house. That's right. Do whatever you want to do. But this is really good. And it's really, really rich and creamy. So I think people will like it. And it's only four ingredients. And I'm sure our kids could even make this. Oh, definitely. So thanks, baby. Bye. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. If you are looking for homestyle recipes made ketogenic, then you have come to the right place. My name is Sarah, and I'm glad that you're here. If you are new, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. We would love to have you as part of our keto family. Tonight, we are going to be making a very simple four ingredient chocolate mousse. It's perfect for Valentine's Day or any time of year because it's very easy and very delicious. Let's go ahead and get started. So as promised, this is four ingredients. It's no baking, no eggs, no mess, no fuss. So your four ingredients for tonight's recipe is going to be eight ounces of softened cream cheese. You are going to need heavy whipping cream. You are going to need some kind of confectioner's natural sweetener. I'm using Swerve, but lots of brands make them. You are also going to need 100% cocoa powder. Vanilla is optional, so that doesn't count as one of our four ingredients, and you are going to need a hand mixer. We are going to be starting with eight ounces of very soft cream cheese, and you're going to want to use full fat cream cheese, and it definitely needs to be soft because this is going to give the light, airy mousse that we are going for for chocolate mousse. I'm going to go ahead and take my hand mixer and just soften this up completely. And as you can see, because I've let mine sit out, it is very soft and that is the consistency that you want. So to our cream cheese, we are going to go ahead and add our sweetener. And you are going to use a half a cup of, of confectioner's natural sweetener. If you don't have confectioner's, you can run granular natural sweetener through your food processor but you definitely want as fine a powder as you can get because this is an unbaked product and so you want the smoothness and with confectioners you get that smoothness. So I'm going to be adding just a squeeze of liquid Splenda and I usually do this when I'm working with an erythritol product simply because there can sometimes be a cooling taste and this helps to offset it. This is a completely optional step. I'm going to combine this into my cream cheese. The next ingredient that we are going to add is cocoa powder and this is 100% cacao and it is unsweetened and you definitely want to use an unsweetened product in order to keep this ketogenic. And I'm going to be adding about two tablespoons and they are just going to be loosely packed. You don't need to firmly pack cocoa. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of vanilla extract. This is also optional. I usually like using vanilla extract with my desserts, but once again, this is optional. So I have incorporated it to get the cocoa powder off the bottom of the bowl. I will be using my spatula intermittently with our last step just to make sure that everything gets off the bottom of your bowl. So as you can see, I incorporated the cocoa powder and it's a nice, lovely, chocolatey richness. So our final ingredient is going to be one cup of heavy whipping cream and that is going to give us our, our final fluff to make our mousse nice and light and airy and creamy. I am going to be using 40% heavy whipping cream, which is the highest we can get in the United States and I'm going to be using one cup. 
And yes, it is thick, and no, it has not gone bad. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this until it's light and fluffy using the spatula to scrape the sides. Okay, you can see it is beautiful and light and fluffy and chocolatey. And you can go ahead and put this into dessert dishes right away and serve it immediately. Or you can also put it into the refrigerator and use it overnight or the following day. So I will show you how I am going to present this. I have these cute little Valentine's Day ramekins. Of course, they're hearts. You can use them anytime because you love your loved ones and you love yourself. So I'm going to put some in here and then I will show you how I'm going to garnish it. And this makes about four one cup servings and it is very rich and very decadent. So that is plenty. You will be very satisfied. So I have some fresh raspberries here and I'm just gonna put a couple on. I'm just going to put a little bit of whipped cream on my raspberries because I want to keep the beautiful part of the mousse there. Boop. 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 You could also use some sugar-free chocolate sauce and drizzle across if you wanted to make it extra fancy like a restaurant. Do whatever you would like. Ta-da! There it is our four ingredient chocolate mousse.